Hi, this is Denise from Foursquare Marker Farm, and here I am on in my little garden here. I just want to say, uh, when I started the channel, it was actually a channel I started to share puppies for my German Shepherds with uh, prospective buyers. And then I used it to uh, share little teaching videos with my fiber arts group. And it's kind of become more like a spinning channel than anything else, which is pretty much the main thing that I do. But there's a reason why I'm called Four Square Micro Farm, and that's pretty much because I micro farm, and all of the things that I say I do, I actually do. This year, I think I'd probably say the past two years, my little garden here has been smaller than it was because I uh, I had several little gardens all over the house, little square foot gardens, and I overbuilt the soil on the side where the barn was and caused the barn to flood during heavy rains. So I decided to reclaim that space and to, in order to keep the barn from flooding. So the, the last two growing seasons, well last one and this one right here, I haven't actually used that space but next year I'm going to go ahead I changed the dog kennels in the back so I'll be able to use that space. And uh, it's July and Pepper is in season and her last season we tried to breed her and she had gotten ill and she's wandering off she had gotten ill and so the breeding didn't uh, really take and so she's in again eating well and may or may not breed her we'll see how that goes okay so that that's an update for those two things. I know people said they want to see more German Shepherd videos, so I'll get them out here running around as soon as this heat wave dies off and uh, do a little more talking about them. And maybe at the end of July, we'll see how that goes too, I'll get out to um, Phoenix's Breeders Farm, Tanya of Working GSD, and maybe get some pictures of them sheep herding. We'll see. From the last garden update video, everything was just kind of blah. And now we have things growing. The asparagus are done. Uh, and now they are in their fern stage. So I'm just making sure that no dogs or uh, nieces and nephews or anything like that knocked them down. Last year, one of the kids during, I think it was Memorial Day, knocked down the fern. And so that particular asparagus didn't produce anything this year. So to make sure those, they get those ferns and they're allowed to grow properly so that plant can store energy for asparagus spears. Uh, I've been uh, really busy. This is really big event season at my church. And so I haven't been out here like I should. And you know what, just to be honest, I've never been a big weeder. I kind of weed, I sort of weed. I don't really weed like I should. And so uh, we've got that vine, that creeper vine, that horrible little monster vine. And pretty much it grows up and sucks the life out of everything. And so it kind of sucked the life out of my peas here and you can see where the peas have died a bit because the vine was on there and these guys are so gentle and so I'm trying my best to snap the vine from the bottom and when you snap from the bottom of course you die it dies but at the same time it's still wrapped around the pea pods and it smothers them so if you try to get it off you break up the peas and by the time I had really gotten around to it um, all I could find was this really uh, stupid short fencing here as opposed to the tall stuff I usually buy because, uh, you know what, living in a city, I have a choice really between like Walmart and Home Depot and Lowe's. And, you know, when they go out of stuff, they just go. They start everything like right after Christmas and they end all of their growing stuff like first week of June. And that's, that's unrealistic. Ohio weather doesn't even allow for that. But that's the way they do things. And so if you miss something that's garden related like that, if it's not a barbecue instrument, then basically it's gone so it's just a little short fencing so what i'm going to do today is i got the twine and i'm going to go ahead and take the hooks over here and put the twine through now all that junk you see in the back those are the stems from the collard green seeds uh, and there's all that garbage music in the back i um i like i said i am like city urban and my street comes right off of I-90. And so I uh, get a lot of traffic in the morning, it's rush hour. 
everybody's going to work and I'm gardening haha <laughs> okay so anyway there are all the collard green seeds and that's not even all the seeds after a while I just got tired of taking seeds off those seed pods so I'll wean those out as they get bigger and they're all in this grass which I haven't mowed yet because they're all down in the grass that's where I initially set the stems okay that terrible patch over there is the kale and the arugula and they're just now uh, starting to harden off the seeds are starting to harden so I'm going to start collecting those seeds I just dug up the spaces I put the uh, corrugated cardboard down and so I need to go around that and get the weeds from between there and the tomatoes I've had a horrible time with the green peppers gonna take you over there I forgot to mention those dragon beans those dragon beans are pretty awesome let me go ahead and snap one up for you dragon beans uh, the dragon tongue beans is what they're properly called. They're a low growing bush bean and they are just beautiful. They don't say this color when they're cooked, uh, but they are a beautiful bean. They're a wax bean. They taste absolutely delicious and I am just in love with this variety. They're a uh, heirloom variety. Uh, basically, almost everything I grow here are heirloom varieties and uh, this, will, this is going to be a favorite. I really wanted this one because I've been growing green beans for some time now, but they're always stringy green beans. And this one is not going to be stringy. It's going to be wonderful. I've already harvested it two or three times. I'm gonna pick through these guys today and harvest. It seems as if I get like a handful of beans every day. So I'll be eating beans for a very long time. Uh, the garlic over here, uh, this used to, well, you can see, obviously, this was all, uh, tilled over space about a week and a half ago uh, those collard seeds get everywhere and they multiply like crazy here's the garlic down here I've harvested well I thought I harvested all the garlic scapes uh, there's one down there I'll get that guy and cook that with my beans okay so anyway over to the cucumbers okay, there are the cucumbers they look marvelous they need to be staked like ASAP they're flowering beautifully Everything on this side is, is doing beautifully, and uh, they're going to be marvelous. I already know cucumbers are great. Past the collards, and unfortunately, this spot right here is, was, are, I'm not really even sure, the green beans. Not the green beans, sorry. The uh, green peppers, and this is my hmm, second attempt, third attempt at green peppers. I just can't seem to get these things to grow. I don't know what it is. Normally, they're one of my staples, and they won't grow. Uh, these are the tomatoes, and I can't remember which ones they are, but I know one of them is black krill. And I sorted these guys in the same pots as the cucumbers and the dragon beans. And basically, it's like they're non-existent. I know someone from the Heritage Group on Facebook was telling me that because of the heat, they won't bloom or set. And so hopefully... I will get a little cooler weather here for a while and I'll get these guys blooming. Like I said, the, the you can see the cucumbers have bloomed and uh, they're setting fruit. And the peas, of course, and the dragon beans. And then all of the uh, seeds from the collard grains and the seeds from the kale and seeds from the arugula are all just fine. And you know what? Even the, the poor... Uh, neglected spinach that's over here. Let me turn you to the spinach. Even the spinach is okay. And I mean, in this heat, it's, it's doing pretty good. There's new kale growing up and the, uh, the roses. So it's not like I have a pollination problem. These things are just not happy. Uh, growing over here. And you know what? Honestly, I don't remember what this is. I know I planted zucchini and squash. So this is one of those guys, my zucchini, one of those guys is squash. I'll find out in a little bit. I just kind of like tossed them all together and did them. So this is where I'm at with the garden in July. What I really wanted to do uh, is have a garden hop vlog, garden blog hop, or and vlog hop in this case, or whatever they call it. Maybe next year I'll do that because I probably should have started earlier. 
But if you don't know what a blog hop is, or video blog hop is, um, it's when, of course, you make a video of your own, uh, whatever it's going to be, your craft, in this case, your garden, and then you tag somebody else in the video. There's pepper drinking out of my water bucket. And then that person, you know, links to um, their video with someone else and someone else and someone else. So you're watching a series of garden video blogs linked. And it's, it's really cool. You know, it's really nice to have a community of people to uh, link videos to or to recommend. I don't, you know, I don't have any problem with uh, saying, you know, my friend such and such watch her videos. Um, it's... Uh, like Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry, I love to watch her videos. And we all do a little something different. So we can all learn from each other. And it's not about hogging uh, viewers or hogging a name or anything like that. It's basically just enjoying each other, enjoying what each other, you know, what we all do, sharing each other's company. Okay, so there we are. So hopefully at the end of July, there will be some type of tomatoes. Uh, on this plot and it'll be a little neater it gets a little neater every time i show you the video all right i'll catch you later have a great day